an IQ of 225, the kind you hear about, not meet. The youngest ever to win gold at the International Mathematics Olympiad. A Fields Medal winner before 32, the highest honor in mathematics. With Ben Green, he uncovered the secret harmony inside the chaos of prime numbers, the Green Tau Theorem. From child prodigy to mathematical legend. This is the story of Terence Tau, the man who saw infinity with clarity. Terence Chishen Tao was born on July 17, 1975, in Adelaide, South Australia. His parents, both highly educated and devoted to learning, nurtured an environment filled with curiosity and discovery. Terence grew up in a household where knowledge and learning were cherished above all. His father was a pediatrician and his mother a mathematics teacher, both encouraging curiosity and problem-solving from an early age. Dinner conversations often included puzzles, numbers, and thoughtful questions that stretched even adults' minds. By the age of two, Terence could perform basic arithmetic with astonishing accuracy. He would add and subtract numbers while most children were still learning to speak in full sentences. His fascination with numbers seemed instinctual, as if he could see patterns hidden to everyone else. Family members watched in amazement as their child solved problems effortlessly, a tiny mind already thinking like a mathematician. Beyond mathematics, Terence displayed insatiable curiosity in everything he encountered. He read books far beyond his age, explored puzzles, and enjoyed chess and music, combining creativity with logic. Teachers noticed his ability to grasp concepts intuitively, solving problems that left older students baffled. At home and at school, Terence began entering mathematics competitions and solving puzzles beyond his age level. Each challenge became a playground for his extraordinary intellect, and he quickly gained a reputation as a child prodigy. His ability to see patterns and find solutions fascinated everyone who witnessed him at work. National newspapers and educators began noticing the young boy who could solve mathematics problems far beyond anyone his age. Invitations to local competitions and special programs followed, and Terence continued to astound audiences. His reputation as a prodigy spread quickly, earning him admiration and curiosity from the public. At the age of nine, Terence achieved a perfect score on the SAT, an accomplishment that stunned teachers, peers, and the entire nation. No one had ever seen such a young child master the test with such precision and confidence. This milestone became a defining moment, signaling to the world that a true prodigy was among them. The boy who once counted blocks now counted among the brightest minds in mathematics. At just seven years old, Terence Tao began attending university-level mathematics classes at Flinders University. He was a tiny figure among much older students, yet he solved problems with ease and confidence. Professors watched in astonishment as this child grasped concepts that challenged seasoned learners. As a teenager, Tao balanced the challenges of accelerated learning with the normal experiences of adolescence. While peers played games or worried about social life, he spent hours immersed in mathematics and scientific texts. Yet, he remained curious and humble, always asking questions and seeking understanding. By his mid-teens, Tao had already begun publishing mathematics papers in reputable journals. His work demonstrated originality, creativity, and technical mastery far beyond his years. Scholars and mentors began to notice this young mind, recognizing that his ideas could shape the field. Between 1986 and 1988, Terence Tao represented Australia in the International Mathematical Olympiad, IMO, the world's most prestigious mathematics competition for high school students. 
At just 10 years old, he became the youngest person in history to win a medal at the IMO, earning bronze in 1986. The following year, at age 11, he returned to secure a silver medal, demonstrating remarkable growth and consistency against competitors often twice his age. Finally, in 1988, at only 12 years old, Tao achieved the ultimate triumph, a gold medal becoming the youngest ever gold medalist in the Olympiad's history. During his teenage years, Tao had the extraordinary opportunity to meet Paul Erdos, one of the most prolific mathematicians of the 20th century. Erdos recognized the young boy's talent and offered encouragement and guidance, sparking a lifelong inspiration. Tao was mesmerized by Erdos's stories, his passion for mathematics, and his relentless curiosity. This encounter gave Tao a glimpse of the future he could shape and the heights he could reach. At the age of 20, Terence Tao was accepted into Princeton University to pursue his PhD in mathematics. This marked a monumental leap from teenage prodigy to professional scholar. The world of advanced research awaited, full of challenges, discovery, and opportunities. It was the threshold of a career that would forever reshape mathematics. At the age of 24, Tao was appointed to the University of California, Los Angeles, joining a prestigious mathematics department. This marked his arrival on the international stage of academia. The halls of UCLA became a place where his ideas would flourish and his influence would grow. It was here that the young prodigy began to fully realize his potential as a world-class mathematician. Terence Tao with Ben Green proved that prime numbers contain arithmetic progressions of any length. Using additive combinatorics and analytic number theory, they extended Semiradi's theorem to the primes. This breakthrough revealed hidden order in numbers once thought chaotic. Mathematicians hailed it as one of the greatest advances in modern number theory. Terence Tao transformed the study of nonlinear partial differential equations. Using advanced tools like Strikart's inequalities and harmonic analysis, he could predict whether solutions remain smooth or develop singularities. His methods provided a rigorous framework to understand dispersive waves, stability, and long term behavior in highly nonlinear systems. Tao advanced harmonic analysis and compressed sensing to reconstruct signals from limited data. His methods apply Fourier and harmonic techniques to predict complete information from partial samples. This transformed MRI imaging, signal processing, and data reconstruction. Tao uncovered hidden structures within numbers using additive combinatorics. He analyzed some sets and patterns in integers to reveal order previously unseen. This provided tools to solve long-standing combinatorial problems. In 2012, Tao was awarded the Crawford Prize for his brilliant and groundbreaking work in functional analysis and theoretical computer science. He was awarded Breakthrough Prize in Mathematics in 2014 for his breakthrough contributions to mathematics. The same year, he was conferred the Royal Medal by the Royal Society for his many deep and varied contributions to mathematics. He was awarded numerous other prizes that honored his contributions. In 2006, Terence Tao was awarded the Fields Medal, the highest honor in mathematics, often called the Nobel Prize of Mathematics. The medal recognized his extraordinary contributions to harmonic analysis, partial differential equations, combinatorics, and number theory. Receiving this award marked the culmination of decades of relentless pursuit of understanding. The world now fully recognized the genius of a man who had been extraordinary since childhood. Terence Tao is known not just for his brilliance, but for his humility and thoughtful nature. Despite his fame, he maintains a grounded daily routine, balancing work, research, and personal time. Colleagues describe him as approachable, patient, and quietly inspiring. His personality reminds the world that even the greatest minds are human, capable of warmth and empathy. 
Outside mathematics, Tao enjoys hobbies that challenge and entertain his mind. He plays chess, listens to classical music and reads broadly in science, history and philosophy. These activities provide him balance and inspiration for his research. As a professor, Tao has mentored countless students, guiding them through complex mathematics and research. His teaching emphasizes clarity, creativity and rigorous thinking. Many of his students have gone on to make significant contributions in mathematics themselves. Tao's influence as a mentor ensures that his legacy extends far beyond his own work. Tao has made mathematics accessible worldwide through his blog and archive publications. Students, researchers and enthusiasts use these resources to learn, solve problems and explore advanced concepts. His writings simplify complex ideas without losing rigor, bridging gaps between students and high-level mathematics. Through the digital classroom, Tao reaches audiences far beyond any lecture hall. Tao participates in public lectures, interviews and educational programs to popularize mathematics. He explains complex ideas in clear, engaging ways that inspire young minds. By connecting with the public, he shows that mathematics is not just a field for specialists, but a universal language of curiosity. His outreach ensures that his impact extends beyond the academic community. Today, Tao inspires a new generation through his teaching, writings and online resources. Students worldwide tackle mathematics problems, guided by his blog, papers and problem-solving techniques. His story shows that brilliance combines talent, hard work and humility. Terence Tao's legacy is not only in the theorems he proved, but in the minds he continues to inspire.